क्या करना बक्स चौधरी कह रहे हैं हम क्या करते हैं और क्या काम है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू यश क्या रैपर्स लड़कियां पटा पा रहे हैं भाई इतना जो बोल रहे हैं ना ट्रैक में कि मतलब हाँ यू you नो know, तेरी चाची मेरे घर पे आ गई मतलब इतने लोग नहीं मिलती भाई ऑनेस्ट ऑनेस्ट टू गॉड राइट हाउ मेनी गर्ल्स डू यू थिंक यू बीन विद इन योर लाइफ पर्सनल प्रोफेशनल सब मिला के या डिफाइन बीन विद तू मरवाएगा मैं मैं ये नहीं बताते तेरे को पता है तू 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 बता पहले लेट्स स्टार्ट विद यू ना सो कैजुअल जस्ट लाइक स्लाइटली तो कौन एक्ट्रेसेस होंगी अराउंड सेम नंबर इन पर्सनल लाइफ आल्सो टोटल कुड बी कुड बी गिव और टेक 10% परसेंट इट्स अ लॉट ब्रो ज्यादा ही है मतलब ज्यादा ही है उससे तो वुड यू से अबव 100 वुड यू से अबव 200 बताऊंगा ही नहीं मैं <laughs> It's so interesting because you are obviously 0.1% of men. If you have gotten accepted, which is the opposite of rejected, over a hundred times, how many See times yeah. have you been rejected, bro? अरे बहुत, बहुत, बहुत. Bancho, दस हजार भाई, दस हजारों बार भाई. Hundreds of times, bro. I think. नहीं, but on a serious level, दस हजार बार, नहीं, दस हजार तो नहीं होगा, एक हजार होगा. It could be a lot, bro. Like ten thousand on a conservative level, like I mean. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So many times now, too, not even being rejected, but even being scared to approach. And that happens to me all the time too. Where I'm like, oh, she's a cutie. Like I want to go approach her, and I don't. Bro, you like, are I'm one of the few people it. I know who has hmm. no self-esteem baggage when he gets rejected. Bro, she doesn't even know me to reject me. If she knows me, can she reject me? <laughs> Fuck that, bro. <laughs> Fuck that. She doesn't even know me, bro. Oh, ego की वजह से ही disappointment भी आता है. If you don't let your ego come in between, next, just accept it. मना हो गया, मना हो गया. उसके पास बहुत options थे. तुम, तुम्हारा नहीं हुआ. ऐसा करके निकल लो. You are not her type. या तुम time fit नहीं बैठ रहा उसके साथ, right? कि उसका ज़माना. Half fit नहीं बैठा. तुमसे better कोई होगा and all that, you know. Just accept it. So, say if I gave you a younger brother figure. Right. Say we had a younger brother figure. If we had to give them advice on what not to do when they're asking a woman out, what is the advice you'd give them? What not to do is not to sound like nervous or scared or whatever. Doesn't matter what you're saying. Just focus on how you're saying it. What not to do? I would say desperate matho because I have felt even you know in the recent past it was because of my desperation. Wo desperation kahin na kahin se ladki ko tumare body language mein, tumare gestures mein, tumare टोन में तुम्हारे बिहेवियर में दिख जाती है डो नॉट मेंशन द वर्ड डेट और कॉफी लाइक नेवर बी लाइक कैन वी गो आउट ऑन अ डेट यू नो हाउ हाउ पीपल डीएम ऑल द टाइम कि आई विल बाय यू अ कप ऑफ कॉफी आई हेट इट आई थिंक आई विल बाय माय ओन कप ऑफ कॉफी नंबर 2 आई डोंट इवन लाइक कॉफी आई डोंट इवन ड्रिंक इट एक्चुअली मैं स्टारबक्स से दे रहो सिद्धा फेंक दी भोसी डी के ले चल फेंक के ले द बेस्ट इज डिनर ड्रिंक्स एंड डांसिंग व्हाई व्हाई इट्स कैजुअल इट्स लाइट हार्टेड इट्स फन it involves more emotion tumhari emotions high hote hai na us time pe so versus you having a conversation with someone which is just talk there is no emotion involved like sexual tension ho rahi hai that's there's an emotion involved you want those butterflies to go up so mm. anything which is casual and fun right back in the day bro i i take girls out with me on these uh, amusement park rides for dates video game hota hai na top floor pe like there are these ha, fun ha. city and everything ha, so there are rides you know there 25 saal ki aurat ko tu video game parlor le jata tha date pe <laughs> मैं सीधा रोलर कोस्टर पे ले जाता था भाई सीधा मैं कहा यार चलो डांसिंग वांसिंग डिनर डिनर बाद में करेंगे पहले हम रोलर कोस्टर पे जाएंगे पहले कॉन्ट्रा फिर शादी की बात फुल पावर <laughs> वो शादी की बात वही बट डोंट फोर्स अ कॉन्वर्जेशन I feel like वो जब तुम अननेसेसरी लाइक ओके यू यू फाइंड सर्टेन सिमिलैरिटीज एंड इफ इट्स नेचुरली फ्लोइंग ग्रेट बट वो ये कि अरे नाइकी के जूते नाइकी क्या बढ़िया ब्रांड है भाई तुझे इसकी हिस्ट्री के बारे में बताऊं ब्रो एक बात बता ऐसे जो रैप सुनने वाले लड़के होते हैं ऐसी बातें करते हैं डीएचएच वाले नहीं यार नहीं बड़ा वो टेम्पलेट है ना मतलब हाँ। कि लाइक वो मुंह पे अगर तुम्हारी एक्सपेक्टेशन दिख गई ना कि तुम आगे से हेलो अच्छी लग रही हो एंड देन यू जस्ट स्टैंडिंग देयर यू जस्ट स्टैंडिंग देयर फॉर नो रीजन ब्रो आज तो क्या बनके निकली हो घर से ओए ओए कहां जा नहीं नहीं भाई गाइस इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस दिस इज हु यशराज इज आई एम फाइनली एक्सपोज्ड यू No, no, bro. I have no other questions, bro. आपके पास कोई क्वेश्चन है? Quick, But, quick tip अगर मुझे दे सकते हो before you start your uh, sure. No, I'll, give you, I'll give you a quick tip. The the quickest tip is now that you've heard the boys talk about it, now that you've heard the gentlemen in question talk about it, 
let's begin unpacking the topic the topic is how do you ask a woman out what goes into it and i know my teams wanted to sort of title this video i asked over 100 women out and here's what i learned i don't know if they'll do it but i'll tell you this that all of the men that you just heard talk have asked over 100 women out i think most of my friends have asked over 100 women out and frankly if you pay attention you learn quite a lot and if you haven't paid attention good job or if you're young you know you just haven't had the time good job you're at the right video um through the length of this video what i want to cover one is the conceptual part of it like what do you have to do conceptually right a lot of men are lost they have no concept this is not something they're taught particularly in india in fact to some degree it's shamed there is an age we go through 13 12 11 whatever where interacting with women is very different from what it is when you're 21 22 23 and so on and a lot of us never quite recover from that period where shames built into us for interacting with women so we'll focus on the conceptual part of it then we'll come down to what i think are the five or the four most common problems that people encounter in going about doing this and if you begin to unpack those problems only if you if i give you the solution to those three or four problems you are set because largely this kind of stuff is built into us biologically this is stuff we understand it is not so much that i need to give you technique and skill but more so that i need to remove the obstacles in your way and you will get to doing this quite automatically from there i'll give you some of my lines some of the stuff i use in those different scenarios facing those different obstacles to make it work that you can copy paste directly but my advice will always be to you lean into the present and pull from what is happening there as opposed to using a line that i gave you as opposed to copying any line it does not work when you copy lines as well as when you can co-opt the present and make use of it in that moment you'll see you'll see and then finally i'll give you the exact verbiage the exact format the exact template i use when i'm asking somebody out got it beyond that if you have any faqs we'll do a live stream this weekend and we'll cover all the faqs with you guys but this is a skill you need to have this is probably one of the most common symptoms of confidence and indians are amiss we are falling behind we need to get this down and we need to get it straight got it ready okay let's begin conceptually what you need to manage is to have all the homework done before the ask out is made if the line that you used to ask her out carries all the weight if that is supposed to do all the work in presenting your emotions in creating that connection you're doing it wrong most of the work is done before the ask out is even made when the ask out is made it should be such that she's like yeah obviously i want to get to know this guy more obviously you have to deload the ask out and do the work before in that conversation the second most important conceptual thing you need to understand is that you have to present your emotions the possibility of a connection the possibility of a relationship in a way where neither of you feel judged if she feels like she's going to make a choice that she's being judged for by you she's never making that choice so if you are judging your own emotions for liking her man she's going to judge her emotions for wanting to like you too it's never going to work out if you manage those two things right if you do your homework which is that the conversation such that the ask outs are mere formality and two if you are in a non judgmental zone about your emotions homework's done game's over conceptually you've gotten it right that's all you have to understand everything else throw out for a second everything else we'll handle in the course of this video so what are the common problems prakhar i get this okay i understand that this is what i have to manage what are the common problems that come across in the many hundred ask outs i've done here are the 3 4 5 most common problems that men have one is that they do not get in front of her enough we've all had this issue where we've liked somebody in a classroom where we've liked somebody in some like other setting and we've looked at her from a distance but never quite gotten in front of her enough and then what happens is fantasy starts building imagination starts building you start complicating the problem in your own head you start building the whole situation up in your own head and maybe at the end of it you do ask her out maybe at the end of it you do get in front of her and talk to her but at this point shit so complicated bro it'll never go simple it'll never be normal and it most likely will disrupt everything you've imagined at which point what are you going to do with this relationship what are you going to do with this connection people don't get in front of her enough number 2 is they never ask out or they ask out too late timing's a huge one asking out early is a problem too but most people just never ask 
out or they're too late and what happens by that point is whatever early tension that is building between you and her whatever exchange of eye contacts whatever exchange of emotions happening whatever imaginative stuff's going on it's past the point the tension's released you're already in the friend zone okay number 3 is you keep it too friendly you may ask her out at the right time you may do that math properly no problem but you keep it too friendly bro and for women first of all the the bollywood idea that love and friendship are the same is a myth just throw it out of the window right that's just not how it is but for women specifically they have access to two very different tracks in their relationship with their men one is friendly friendship it's a completely different track it's completely asexual aromantic the other is sexual romantic deity and they know from the very beginning where you are going and when you keep it too friendly when you do not initiate enough tension when you do not and we made a video on friend zone recently when you do not do the work that you're supposed to do in expressing how you feel for her she's going to put you in the friend zone you've kept it too friendly you've not communicated that you're attracted to her friendly vibes is equal to the friend zone remember that as a formula number 4 do not put her on a pedestal and this is a very common mistake guys make where This is the psychology of a guy. The guy thinks that if I were to give this woman the same kind of love, affection, importance, attention, emotion, the same kind of things that I would give to somebody I was already in a relationship with, they would understand. That they would understand that I like them like that. That I have intimate affection for them. But there can be no worse thing that you can do early on. Because fact of the matter is that while you are looking for your queen, she is looking for her king she is not looking for somebody who will bend over backwards who will accommodate everything she has to say who will say yes ma'am oh yeah you are so funny and you are so right to everything you say she is looking for an equal she is looking for a challenge she is looking for a guy that takes up space for a person that is a person not an accommodating shape shifting pokemon she is looking for somebody who will say no to her who will tease her who will ask her tough questions who will motivate her who will inspire her who she might even go on an adventure with even if it's a short term relationship those are the signals she's interested in she's interested in an equal not somebody who puts her on a pedestal on day 1 and this is very commonly the yes ma'am syndrome where you say you ship you shape shift effectively right where you say yes to everything she says you laugh to every joke she has to say she's like yeah i'm doing this and you're like oh that is so like you do everything in your power in your strength to accommodate who she is as a person and if you see and understand that metaphorically it's almost like not having shape and space of your own it's almost like not having a defined personality a defined sense of self of your own it's almost like being gaseous where wherever they move you give space to accommodate as opposed to solid where well this is not going to take the shape i want it to take right you can think of this shit is not going to bend because i want it to bend and that's a super missing point in men men very quickly convince themselves that they're into this woman and then they do all these conversational gymnastics to accommodate her to make her feel special when you are not already in a relationship with her she like you has to earn that kind of accommodation that kind of affection that kind of love and trust me like you want to earn that she wants to go through the process of earning that too if you give her everything too soon in her head in the economics of dating and mating as we discussed in the shyness video you've presented yourself as a cheaper buyer than what she's interested in it's not going to work out before we begin answering all these questions all these problems that we presented in front of ourselves all these problems you've experienced um let us begin unpacking the mindset let's spend 10 seconds and understand what is the right mind frame what is the right mindset to have when approaching a person for dating or relationship right men make this mistake very often where very quickly after looking at a girl in their head they decide I'm attracted to her. She's cute, she's adorable, she's whatever. And then they go about acting to seek her approval. They go about doing things that elicits impression. I want to impress her. And it's just not the right mind frame to have because you've you've not treated her as an equal from the very get. The way you should think about it is that she's a person, I'm a person. People are interested in attractive people. She wants to meet somebody attractive she wants attractive guy to meet her she wants to be taken out on a date by somebody who's fun who's attractive who is an equal 
and so the next time when you walk into a dating situation instead of thinking oh i like her and now what do i do to make her like me think i am here to have fun i am here to share myself instead of take something i am here to discover if this person's it for me so i will ask her questions and interact with her and see if this is the right person i want to take out on a date got it this changes everything pay attention take 2 seconds i'll pause here reflect instead of going about and saying i like her now what do i do for her to be impressed by me go out and think i'm here to have fun and see through this interaction if this is the person i want to take out on the date i'll give you 2 seconds okay now we'll begin unpacking now what do you do prakar i get the problems i get the common problems i relate to the common problems i understand the mindset bit i understand that this is the frame of mind i need to have that she is here to meet somebody attractive she is here in part to meet somebody who will sweep her off her feet and i am here to figure out if she is that person who will sweep off my feet right step number 1 is get in front of her enough my bros i will die on this hill because i know so many of you have crushes from a distance and crush culture is probably the least helpful in helping you actually create a connection or a relationship idiots have crushes idiots spend their time imagining and fantasizing about a woman they never talk to do not fall for that it's as good as pornography but minus the sex so it's in some way even worse than pornography what are you doing get in front of her get in front of her and try to have a conversation that is step 1 and when you do get in front of her don't get in front of her with the mind frame that you are here to take something get in front of her with the mindset that you're here to share yourself get in front of her with the mindset that you have enough and you're here to experience and enjoy and it will change most of the tension that you have in getting front of her you are worried to interact with her because you feel like she'll be able to spot that you're here for some ulterior motive drop the motive just go there to have fun problem solved number 2 is discover her men do not spend time discovering the woman at all they have in their head decided she's cute i want this one and then they are busy impressing her with flexing with their motorcycles and with their cars and with their achievements and with their nonsense Now, nah. discover her, bro. Ask her a meaningful question. Ask her a question like, "Who in your life means the most to you, and why?" Or, if you can take it a little bit more advanced, ask her a question like, and these are questions I use, right? I'll ask her, "What does she think is her best life at fifty?" Right. The format is very simple. Stare into the future. Stare into the past. Pick up something relevant and ask a question about it. you can do something in the present too why do you think is x the case with you if she is very artistic why do you think you are so artistic anything that makes her reflect into her life go inwards and genuinely come up with a decent answer anything that makes her introspect builds more self awareness on her part brilliant it's already edging on the challenging her idea it's already presenting you as an equal number 2 is challenge her and this is the point where people actually have trouble because they do not know how to initiate teasing and banter and so on because if you look at teasing and banter as a means of being funny it's a means of saying we are equal you only tease and banter with people who you think are equal manchester united fans will shit on liverpool fans because they think they are equal man united fans will very rarely shit on bengaluru fc it just doesn't make sense so with challenging her one of the ideas that i give to say my younger brothers or people who consult on this level this is very simple notion if you are interested in content like this content around attraction that we built with fundamentals of attraction shy guy socialization we've been speaking about dating and relationships for a second i have something mind bogglingly interesting for you you know i've been in the business of teaching people how to talk to people with art of conversation for quite a while and now we are coming up with something super interesting it's called the art of conversation riz edition and we're doing a workshop to help 18 to 30 year olds who want to get better at just interacting with the opposite sex only for men between 18 and 30 if you want to get better at talking to people being more confident exuding charisma and attraction 
like making sure that your compliments are well received, your ask outs are in place, you are doing what you need to do to get maximum returns in your dating life, in your relationship life. This is the thing for you. Keep this frame in the back of your head. Keep this like expression, this emotion in the back of your head. Acha, mm. like just this idea of mm, acha. If you have just that in the back of your head, teases come very easy. The idea is to just take everything or something that she says playfully and play with it. Haan, tu to boligi. Yeah, you're always going to say that. It doesn't even have to mean something very heavy. It doesn't even have to inspire a great conversation. It just has to inspire a smile. Something as simple as chal na, sach bata. Come on, tell me the truth, right? Like you can play with this idea of chal na, sach bata, chal. And what that does is it signals to her that this is a playful environment, this is a fun environment. And this actually makes her go into her system and come up with responses to those teases. And this sets you in a place where you discover her not only logically by asking her those meaningful questions that makes her reflect on her life, but also emotionally as to how does she handle the teases? How does she handle laughter? How does she handle like situations where it's slightly uncomfortable to like come up with a response? Step number three is do not be afraid to show yourself. It's not so much your insufficiencies and your limitations that put the other person off. Everybody has insufficiencies. Everybody is small or improper or unorganized or unhygienic or whatever you want to say. Everybody has their own uphill battles, their own problems. It's when you judge your own problems, it's when you judge the lack of what you have that it truly begins to become a problem in a relationship. This is a key insight into human psychology overall. Nobody cares that you are X amount of rich or X amount of poor, X amount of tall or X amount of short, X amount of confident or X amount of inconfident, unconfident, underconfident. It's mostly when you judge yourself on those things that the other person has permission to judge you on it. And the thing here is, bro, dating, relationships, sex are an edge topic. They are an edge between biological realism and moral, what would you say, trespassing? What would be the word, Alex? Moral transgression, right? So it's, it's a split between these two worlds. It's real, everybody wants it, but it's also like controlled so carefully by morality in society. And so it's a place which has to occur, but can very likely be judged. Fact of the matter is, men and women like each other. They're attracted to each other. They want to be with each other. They want to have sex with each other. It's such a normal everyday fact. And if you present yourself in this normal everyday sense, not just with who you are, but your insufficiencies, your lack of things, or your insecurities, your shames and your fears, the other person feels completely normal to accept their insecurities, their fears, their shames, and their preferences for you. If you are asking her out and you're so, I'm so sorry about telling you that I want to take you out on a date, she's gonna feel, uh, I don't know if this guy is gonna be okay if I say yes. So the large idea is when you present yourself, present yourself with no hesitation. This is what in some part men mean when they say, hey, be confident, be yourself. This is what they're trying to get to. Do not judge what you think and feel. Be completely okay with who you are in whatever shape you exist. And your results will completely transform. If you are vulnerable and completely stable in, in your own vulnerability, she's going to feel completely okay in her vulnerability. And her vulnerability includes liking you, going out with you, spending time, emotion, energy and attention on you. And one of the easiest ways to display that you are okay with yourself, say that moment does not arrive, is when you ask her a meaningful question. In the discovery phase, when you ask her a meaningful question, answer it yourself too. When I ask her who means the most to you in the world and why, I answer that question. I tell them my mother is my best friend, but I have this hugely, radically different relationship with my father as I progress and I have so much respect for him. And I'm not sure who to decide. I'm genuinely not sure. 
my mom's always been my best friend my dad's my new best friend and i have to pick i have no real answers number 4 indicate interest build the tension of attraction i know you don't do it i know you play friendly for too long i know most guys do this they play friendly way too long they don't know how to give proper compliments nobody taught them how to give proper compliments i'll give you a few lines here you can use them and by the way if you want i'll make another video on how to give a proper ass compliment to a woman cuz guys should know this oh my god guys who are in relationships and who are not both should know this cuz the guys who are not should know this to get into relationships guys who are in relationships need to know this so their relationship life is happier there is a part of a woman that thrives on being complimented it's one of the most unadulterated forms of attention that you can give to her so what's a good compliment i'll give you an example i gave this on a on a stream a little while ago too but this works brilliantly after she's done talking to you say she spoke for like 15 seconds be like the way your eyes move when you talk is so adorable the format is very simple you take something she does and add the word adorable intriguing interesting attractive so mesmerizing all those things brilliant 10 on 10 works the idea is you take something that's happening in the present and then you give her a genuine compliment on top of that i have another one written here say something you know you know what i just realized she's like what i just realized you're super cute and this is sort of a playful compliment very niche or rather not very niche this is a very generic compliment this is a you are cute what is there in that compliment it's the vibe it's how it was delivered the fact that it was delivered in that moment as a playful thing you know what i just realized what you're kind of cute that stuff is what it really makes it work your ability to stay with that frame when you give that compliment you stay with that feeling as opposed to judging yourself for saying that the best kind of compliments borrow themselves from the present and the best kind of compliments are said without any expectation in return and these compliments just set the tone for the interaction they let her know hey this guy is not here to make best friends forever this guy is not here to tie a raksha bandhan whatever rakhi this guy is not here to give friendship bands out to me this guy is here cuz he likes me that lets her know that build attractive tension add your intent to the conversation and there's thousands of ways of doing this but with compliments remember it's attention plus emotion you're paying attention to what they're doing and you're adding an emotion to it if you get that down you won i'll make another video sometime else finally the ask out right this is the moment you've gotten in the conversation you got in front of her you discovered her you played with her you asked her questions you played around you teased you know all of that stuff you presented yourself as completely non judgmental of who you are right you also added compliments you have added attractive tension you did your homework and now you're at the point where you've done most of the heavy lifting now it's a matter of asking her out how do you go about doing that when do you go about doing that where do you go about doing that all of those questions let's begin unpacking the ask out the ask out one where come closer do it in an actual conversation not on text messages can you guys write this down actual conversation not text messages do i need to repeat this you need to do it face to face in an actual conversation not over text messages what kind of a scared ass signal are you sending her by doing it on text messages are you really going to be the man of her dreams when you can't even say listen i like you i want to take you out on a date in front of her do it in conversation and not just because oh what is the signal but also the success rate is completely different bro what are you doing i i've been that guy man i was 17 18 once and i was text i was texting my then crush hey listen i kind of like you it's just horrible don't do it do it in conversation timing do it when the conversation's hot or towards the end of it but do it when the conversation's hot and you can tell when the conversation's hot when you're both speaking at a pace when you're both excited your faces are jovial they're lit up as soon as you feel like the conversation's hot pull the trigger and pull it with the words i'll give you situation do it one on one never in a group in a group there's too much pressure bro <clears throat> too many people are looking at her 
there's too many things to think about oh my god what are people what maybe they may be blah, blah, blah. don't put her under isolate her be like can i have you for a second take her outside and then ask her out always one on one the words the words can change but here is a formula i'll give you this formula is brilliant this is literally stuff i learned around like <laughs> like the first year two two and a half of going about trying to meet women um and this this formula worked brilliantly for me so say a time and a date or a time or a date like say a temporal quality say thursday say an activity let's go get ice cream and then say something fun you'll do on top of that hey let's go out on thursday we'll go get ice cream and talk about how dumb joe biden is maybe that's not the funniest thing to you in america they kind of like it <laughs> you can say i'll tell you why because when i was doing this in america quite a lot trump was the hot topic like everybody loved to talk about trump so i would very often say hey let's go out friday we'll go get froyo and we'll talk about how dumb donald trump is right and you can replace these three things with anything of your choice depending on what context what locality what reality you're in if this is what we've given for free Imagine what I do when I turn up the heat and make it more advanced, bro. Like that shit's dark arts right there. Um, and I'm telling you because I've been building the um, syllabus for it. I've been working on this for a couple of weeks now. And every time I add to the syllabus sheet, I'm like, this shit is dark arts. This should not be sold. Like this shit's supposed to be told to your kids, to your son, bro. But yeah, uh, we are doing a workshop on this. It's on the first of July. If you sign up now. you get a discounted price as always if you're part of the inner circle if you bought aoc if you're on the email list if you are a member you get a discounted price you can go sign up now as the month progresses one we have only limited spots this is the first iteration we'll only take 500 spots no more maybe we won't do a second iteration at all one it's only limited spots and two it will get more expensive so click on the link and sign up if you want if it fits what you're looking for we'll show you magic like you've never seen before yep that's all that's it continue watching the video and continue making your notes it also depends on maybe your friends with her you've known her like 6 weeks couple of months you've known her for a while you've been speaking to her for a while when you add this very cosmetic ask out line it may not work so you have to sort of co-opt it adopt it to your circumstance make it fit your circumstance well but the general idea is this you pick the time you pick the activity and you pick something fun to do on top of that you make the decision in the dating ecosphere the prerogative is always the man's in terms of setting the mood and the tempo it's always going to be you you will always have to approach her first you will always have to decide where you're going this is going to be your domain largely and the best part is if she says yes thursday can become friday thursday can become sunday you were busy froyo can become ice cream ice cream can be can become dinner Dr dinner can become drinks D drinks can become dancing donald trump can become future plans future plans can become class project not that those are fun but you know you can think of something fun depending on your context you can remove one or two of these pieces and this still works but the general idea is when you give all three of them there is certainty there is familiarity and then there is emotion on top and it almost always succeeds well given you've done your homework right yo what are you doing saturday let's go get drinks and let's talk about how silly alex is and generally this how silly alex is how dumb donald trump is i'll pick from the conversation we were just having and that makes it super contextual say we've just had a moment where we've discovered that you know this particular woman is um, let's say she finds andrew schulz funny let's discuss our favorite andrew schulz moments right say she is weird around italian food and let's discuss how weird you are with italian food all of this contextual borrowing can become a tease can become something else and it all comes together finally what is next take her number or take her instagram text her that evening say hey listen we met earlier or i mean if you already had her instagram number be like hey thursday keep free you're good to go you're good to go so if you get this down number 1 get in front of her number 2 discover her number 3 present yourself as completely non judgmental 
नंबर फोर इंडिकेट इंटरेस्ट बिल्ड अट्रैक्टिव टेंशन एंड नंबर फाइव द आस्क आउट मैन यू आर गोन टू बी इन दिस कॉमेंट सेक्शन टू थ्री फाइव मंथ्स फ्यू वीक्स फ्रॉम नाउ टेलिंग मी हाउ मेनी सक्सेसफुल डेट्स यूर ऑन ट्रस्ट मी एंड देन लेट मी नो आई सी ऑन दी अदर साइड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड आई हैव अ वीडियो ऑन द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन वॉट मेक्स अ मैन वेरी अट्रैक्टिव यू कैन गो चेक इट आउट वट एल्स डू वी गॉट this saturday or this sunday this weekend we'll stream and we'll discuss whatever faqs you have left on this question i will see you on the other side in the meanwhile boom boom bam bam